So there was a real leak from inside the U.S. Supreme Court. This is unprecedented in Supreme Court history. And as John Roberts has now confirmed, this, in fact, is the draft opinion, at least the February draft opinion, from Justice Alito on the Dobbs case, which would have overturned explicitly Roe versus Wade. This was done to try and dissuade justices from joining an opinion like this one that overturns Roe versus Wade. Well, I'm glad that this is where the court seems to be headed. I am very concerned for the institution of the court, for what this has done to our democracy. Politico added a reporter to this, not just Josh Gerstein, who does their legal reporting normally, but Alexander Ward. Guess who he is? A national security reporter who would be used to dealing with what? Classified document leaks and items like that trying to protect their source. So this was planned with uh, Politico. You have to understand the internal insurrection that has taken place here. Somebody yep. inside the Supreme Court of the United States stole a document, leaked it to Politico for the purposes of what? Putting pressure on justices to get the legislature enacted and to undercut the integrity of the Supreme Court of the United States. You're talking about an attack on liberty, folks? This this is an insurrection. This is an authoritarian move. This is how authoritarians treat independent judiciaries when they want to start getting rid of independent judiciaries. So they threaten them, as Chuck Schumer did. You, you won't know what hit you. The whirlwind coming against you. Uh, so, I mean, you could take that as a personal threat. Uh, they then leak documents. And they use their politic. They they have politicized the entire process, so they're leaking out draft opinions, real draft opinions. I mean, we we know that's true. Uh, to try and uh, dissuade the court because of an opinion they don't like, even though it is a separate, co-equal branch of government. There is unbelievable pressure. They're trying to put on the justice. I think it personally it backfires, but that's my view. Anybody who has ever wanted to be on the Supreme Court at any point in their life maybe thought that at some point this case would come across their desk. Of course. So I hope that they already have the resolute, their, you know, their decision of this is how I'm going to rule and I'm going to stand by it. They stand by the courage of their convictions and by the Constitution. Joe Biden is looking for anything oh, he, this will to be distract. A, it's uh, not going to be January 6th. The committee. economy, anything to distract from what's happened in, in Ukraine, anything to distract from inflation. I mean, the, the list goes on and on all these attacks. Remember yesterday, talking about the DHS governance board, all those things that have been rolled out in a horrendous way and handled so poorly. The border, you know, the list goes on and on. So if you can get your base, that's all he's focused on now, your base to at least get excited and angry, uh, then they think they might have some political chance. It's an unbelievable breach of protocol uh, on a couple of levels. Number one, you are instructed when you clerk for the court that this is private information. You're a lawyer. This is not to be released. Uh, Chief Justice Rehnquist used to say, if you did release something or leak something, that would be the end of your legal career. You can end up being disbarred or worse. Number one. Number two, uh, the Chief Justice has had a... This is not good for John Roberts. I'm sure he's... I've known John a long time. I'm sure he's very, very unhappy about this. He calls it a betrayal of the confidences of the court. Now the pressure campaigns will be placed on these justices. You saw that with the protests last night. Fortunately, the pro-life crowds came out also in huge numbers. The left, they're not giving up on lo on no. losing this case. No, no, no. This might have been a, 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 a last-ditch Hail Mary attempt, but they, try, they, they convinced somebody to do it put their career in jeopardy uh, and certainly uh, put, potentially even you know, go to jail because they thought there was an opportunity. They felt like there's somebody on that court that might be, all they need is one that they could influence enough with this public campaign of you're not, your life is going to be miserable, might yep. even be uh, uh, in jeopardy. The chief justice said that he's directed the marshal of the court. That's the law enforcement arm of the court. Uh, to launch an investigation into the source of this leak. I don't think it's going to take long to find it. My guess is that it's probably a law clerk of one of the liberal justices. The left loves talking about the attack on our systems of government. This is this is about as brazen oh. as it gets because you are putting in jeopardy justices. You are. Absolutely. Uh, you are, again, over-politicizing the issue and trying to influence a court, which is, again, you, your job as the attorney you can do that. You write opinions. You go about it the legal process. But outside influence on the court, that is something we didn't accept in the United States of America. That's why they're but lifetime we, appointments. But we live in a new America 
in a new time well, where everything is hyper-partisan and we have to be ready for it. Someone inside the Supreme Court of the United States that apparently works there, probably a law clerk, took it upon himself to undercut justice and the institution of the Supreme Court. 